In a significant development, a hectic diplomatic push has been seen to convert the 114 fighter jets tender into a government-to-government -government deal for the staggered purchase of more Rafale fighters, and this has already been discussed with the French manufacturer Dassault Aviation. The chief of defense staff had recently hinted that 36 more fighter jets could be ordered, that will bring the fleet total to 72, only if the Air Force cancels the MMRCA tender and instead orders more indigenous fighters, while the Air Force is interested in the 114 MMRCA program. Dassault Aviation has claimed that the second batch of 36 fighters will be cheaper as the cost of India-specific enhancements have already been paid, and with the removal of the Defence Offsets Clause in the new Defence Acquisition Procedure 2020, the additional Rafale fighters will be available at a discounted price. Once the second batch of 36 Rafale fighters are delivered by 2027, the Indian Air Force can place the order for the third batch of 36 Rafale fighters, that will bring the fleet strength to 108. The Indian Government and Ministry of Defence have also started looking at a smaller order number, as the contract price for 114 fighters might exceed $25 billion with transfer of technology and license manufacturing by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is to be noted, that a Su-30 fighter jet manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics costs around 417 crore rupees per aircraft, while the Su-30 manufactured by Russia costs only 269 crore rupees. The Basic Exchange and Cooperation Agreement has finally been signed between India and the US, which will enable India to gain access to extremely accurate geospatial data, and it will have major implications for a range of military aspects like higher missile accuracy and long-range navigation of platforms. Given the current geopolitical situation, this geospatial data will be relevant on both the northern and western borders of India. The US has also invited India to appoint liaison officers to the US Indo-Pacific Command and the US Special Operations Command. The DRDO developed advanced toad array sonar system is still undergoing development testing, meanwhile, the Indian Navy has shortlisted German company Atlas Electronic, for supplying nine active toad array sonar systems worth 465 crore rupees, that will be equipped on the four new anti-submarine corvettes, and the contract is expected to be signed by March 2021. The Indian Navy is also in the process of finalizing the trials of the three contenders from Russia, Israel and France for the 8,800 crore rupees contest, for supplying new short-range surface-to-air systems for the anti-submarine corvettes, Rajput-class destroyers and INS Vikramaditya. After the transfer of Kilo-class submarine from India to Myanmar, Chinese military experts have said, that this move is a provocation meant to disrupt China's relationship with countries in the region. The Chinese experts also doubted the submarine's functionality, as it was only refurbished by India, and its systems and facilities were not upgraded. They also said, that Myanmar has already bought the Chinese JF-17 fighter jet and its military is also equipped with many other Chinese-built tanks, rockets and rifles.